Welcome to the Sage Pasta Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to correctly process reversals in Sage Pasta Accounting. We will show you how to reverse out journal entries, cash book entries, supplier documents, and customer documents. Please ensure that you have made a backup before you process any reversals. This is to ensure that you have a restore point should the reversal not have the desired effect. In order to process a reversal for a journal entry, you would process the reversal in the exact same way as you process the original transaction, however you would use a negative value. In other words, you would use the same period, date, account, reference, tax and contra account as you did on the original transaction, but when you enter the amount, you will use a negative value. In order to find all the information, you would need to view the detailed ledger for the affected account. You can do this by going to View, General Ledger, Transactions, Detailed Ledger. At the print to enter screen. Enter the account start and end with the affected account. By period start and end, enter your starting period and ending period and tick the option each period separate and click on OK. This will print your detailed ledger for the affected account to screen. Here you can see the period, date, journal used, reference number, contra account and amount. Please make note of whether the amount falls under the debit or the credit side. You can print this report or you can write the information down. Once you have all of the information, click on Process Journals and select the journal as shown in the detailed ledger screen. If you set the batch to use tax, you should have a tax column, an exclusive column, an inclusive column and a DC column as currently displayed. If you selected the batch to not use tax, you will have a debit and credit column as currently displayed. You will now need to process the reversal in the exact same way as the original transaction but with a negative value. In order to process a reversal where you have selected the option to use tax, in other words, you have a tax column, an exclusive column, an inclusive column, and a DC column. You will enter the exact same period, date, account, and reference number as displayed on the detailed ledger. By description, enter reversal. If you use tax, select the correct tax type and tab to the DC column. If the amount showed under debit, enter D. If the amount showed under credit, enter C. Now, click on either exclusive or inclusive and enter the value but with a negative amount, for example, minus 600. Tab until you get to the contra account. If you enter the value minus 600 with a D, you will notice that this has changed to 600 and the DC column has changed to a C. If you entered minus 600 with a C, you will notice this is now showing as 600 with a D. Enter your contra account and tab to the next line. Click on Batch Update and update the transaction. If you set your batch to not use tax, meaning you will only have a debit and credit column, you will need to enter the reversal in the exact same manner as the original. In other words, you will enter the same period, date, account and reference as on the detailed ledger. By description, type in reversal. If the amount on the detailed ledger showed under debit, tab till the debit column. If the amount on the detailed ledger showed under credit, tab to the credit column. Now enter the value with a negative amount, in other words, minus 600, and tab to the contra account. You will notice that the amount becomes a positive and switches sides. In other words, if you typed in minus 600 under debit, it will be showing as 600 under credit. If you typed in minus 600 on credit, it will switch to 600 on debit. Enter your contra account and tab to the next line. Click on Batch Update. Once you have updated your batch, please again view your detailed ledger by going to View, General Ledger, Transactions, Detailed Ledger. Please enter the account start and end by the account that was affected. Enter your period start and end and ensure that each period separate is ticked and click on OK. You will notice that you now have two entries. However, one will show on the debit side and one will show on the credit side and they should 
cancel each other out. Processing a cash book reversal is very similar to processing a journal reversal in that you need to process the reversal in the exact same manner as the original transaction but when you enter the amount you will use a negative value. In other words, you will use the same side of the cash book, period, date, account and reference but you will use a negative amount for the value. In order to find the correct information you will view your cash book details report by going to view general ledger transactions cash book details. By the print to select screen. Select the cash book that has been affected. By the period start and end into your starting and ending periods. Make sure that your date start and end is the correct date range and ensure that each period separate is ticked and click on OK. This will generate your cash book details report to screen. Here you can see the side of the cash book used, the period, date, account and reference number as well as the amount. You can either print the screen or write down the relevant details. Once you have written down the relevant details, you can go to Process Cash Books in order to open your Process Cash Books screen. Firstly, enter the cash book that has been affected from the drop-down list. Next, go to the same side of the cash book that the original transaction was processed on. Now enter the same period, date, account and reference number that was used in the original transaction. By description, enter reversal and tab till you get to bank amount. By the bank amount, enter the amount but with a negative value, in other words, minus 20,000, and tab till you get to the next line. Click on update and update the batch. Once you have updated the batch, please go and view your cash book details screen again by going to view, general ledger, transaction, cash book details. Again, set the printer to screen, select the cash book that was affected, select your period start and end, select your date start and end, and make sure the option each period separate is selected and click on OK. Ensure that the reversal was successful. This should show a consolidated transaction with the zero value. To reverse out incorrectly captured customer documents, you would process a customer credit note. In order to make sure that you process the credit note correctly, you would need to know the details of the document that was processed. To find these details, you would view the Customer Detailed Ledger by going to View Customers Detailed Ledger. On the filter screen, set the printer to Screen. By Customer Account Start and End, enter the customer account that was affected. Enter your period start and end and ensure that each period separate is selected. Here you will get a summary of all invoices processed against the affected customer. Click on the incorrect document in order for it to populate the details of the document. Now write down the date, the account affected, the reference number, as well as the lines, in other words the code, description, quantity and unit price. Please scroll down till you get to the footer and enter both the subtotal as well as the total and tax. If you do not want to manually write all of this information down, click on print. Once you have all the relevant information, go to process customers. Please ensure by document type that you have selected credit note. Enter the affected customer under the customer option and tab till you get to period. Enter the same period and date as the original invoice and tab until a screen is generated showing all of the tax invoices processed against this customer. Select the incorrect document in order to link the document to the credit note and tab until you get to type. Here you will enter the lines as on the original document. Enter the lines identically and make sure that the tax and total at the bottom of the screen are identical to the original tax invoice. Once you are sure, click on Next Document. Please note that if the user is set to update documents on completion, this will automatically update the credit note. However, if your user is set to update in batch mode, you will need to click on Batch Update in order to update the credit note. 
Once you have updated your credit note, please rerun the detailed ledger report in order to ensure that the tax invoice and credit note have reversed each other correctly. In order to process a reversal for an incorrectly captured supplier invoice, you would process a return and debit. You would need to know which invoice was incorrect as well as the details of the supplier invoice. In order to find this information, you would view the Supplier Detailed Ledger by going to View Suppliers Detailed Ledger. This will generate the filter screen. Set the printer to Screen. By Supplier Start and End, enter the affected supplier code. Select your period start and end and ensure each period separate is ticked and click on OK. This will generate your supplier detailed ledger report to screen showing all the supplier invoices processed against the supplier. Click on the affected supplier invoice and you will be able to see all the details of the invoice. Make note of the date, account, reference number as well as the details under code, description, quantity, unit price and net price. Please scroll down to the footer and make note of the subtotal, tax and total used. If you do not want to manually write all this information down, you can click on print to print this document. Once you have all the correct information, go to process suppliers. Make sure the document type is set to return and debit. By supplier, enter the affected supplier and tab till you get to period. Enter the same period and date as the original invoice and tab until a screen is populated showing you all of the invoices processed against the supplier. Select the affected invoice and tab till you get to type. Please enter all the line item details as per the original invoice here. Once you have captured all the lines as per the original invoice, Make sure that the exclusive tax and total on the screen are showing as per the footer on the original supplier invoice. Click on Next Document. Please note, if your user is set to update on completion of document, this will automatically update the return and debit. However, if your user is set to update in batch mode, you will need to click on Batch Update. Once you have updated supplier return and debit, Please again go and view your supplier detailed ledger and ensure that the return and debit has correctly returned the goods or reversed the incorrectly processed supplier invoice.